Well here it is, it's quite a new model at the time of making this video, it's quite a new model in the UK, this Miele Swing, Swing H1 Powerline. You can buy this direct from Miele at the time of making the video for 200, yes 200 pounds, ridiculous. You can get it, which is where I got it from, uh, QVC UK, I think it was about 126, so considerably less from QVC, although I have seen nearly new and brand new models on eBay for around £80. £80 is the sort of price I would have paid for a similar model. The alternative, because the last time we had a machine of this type in the UK, it was called the alternative and it was available in a mint green colour. And that was discontinued some time ago, so I was quite surprised when I tuned in one day to QVC to see that they have brought this model back. It's always been available in Germany and other European countries and I believe in the United States but for some reason Miele discontinued it. So here we are. Now what are, well I'll check the rating. It's of course got the, all the EU rating stickers on it so I'll tell you all that. I do have a similar model to this, which is already on my channel, which I had to buy from Budapest in Hungary. Um, it's a, um, obviously a Hungarian version with a different plug. This is an official UK version, so it will have some slight differences. Now the main difference, one of the differences, this is your extension wand, which you use as the handle and you use it, you can use it as an extension wand. I'll show you the different ways you can use the machine. In the one I've got, that's telescopic so you can adjust it. With this particular one it's just one fixed metal extension tube. This is one of the small cleaning tools, the upholstery nozzle for your upholstery, your stairs and your curtains etc. Quite a short crevice tool and here is the handle which also incorporates the top hook for storing the cable. Instruction manual. Now inside here we should get the ratings, the EU rating label which will give us all the numbers we need to know. Whether we agree with these numbers, I don't know. There's, there is a bit of a dispute over these labels. They're not really standardised. So it gets an E rating for energy, it's quite a high wattage, I believe it's a 1400 watt machine. Um, machines with an A rating tend to be 700 watts or certainly under 900 watts. So it's an E rating but you don't use a vacuum for long periods so it's not going to make much of a difference to your electric bill. It gets a C for emissions out of a possible, it, the, the rating goes from A to G, so C with the included filter, you can upgrade to a HEPA if you want to but with the included air clean filter it's a C which is pretty good. Carpet cleaning performance it's also a C. Hard floor though it gets an A so this might be one to to think about if you've got mainly hard floors and it's 80 decibels so it's not exactly quiet but that will be on its highest setting. It's got two speeds so I'm assuming they'll have measured the noise level on its highest suction setting. Right, let's take out those Right, so this is the main floor head. Your dual purpose carpet and floor. It's a Miele, it's a quality item, it feels quality. Ah, now that is a surprise. That's the first time I've seen that. I've seen a plastic base on another Miele nozzle supplied with some of their lower end vacuum cleaners. But this particular style of nozzle, that's the first time I have seen a plastic base plate. So that's a little bit disappointing. That might be why. Now it says FiberTech. I'm wondering if it's going to glide as well. The re reviews on the QVC website are pretty poor for this and most of the people that have reviewed this have complained that it's heavy. I've never found it so, but bear that in mind. So you've got a brush that comes down, doesn't look like it comes down very far on this one. It does seem a bit different. So that is, that's a change. They've cheapened that nozzle by putting the plastic base plate on. They might, it might be slightly, slightly lighter having the plastic base plate, but 
little bit odd that they've done that. It's still a good nozzle, well it was with a metal base plate. Also included, and this is a nozzle I've never had experience of, in order to get the A rating for your floor cleaning, this is the nozzle you need to put on. Because this is the nozzle that they would have tested to get that A dust pickup rating on a hard floor. Now the hard floor rating, they measure that with what they say with a crevice. So that basically means a hard floor but with a crack in the centre. So it's for example like you'd have in a floorboard. So it measures how much dust is removed from the crack and it's a certain depth. You know it's all, um, all laid out. It's supposed to be all standardised. It's a certain depth of um, crevice. So if it manages to pick up the specified dust completely from that crevice then it should get an A rating. So this is a new nozzle to me. A little bit narrower I would say is it? So let's check. Yes, it is narrower by I'd say about an inch, inch to a couple of centimetres narrower than the main nozzle. You might find if you're just cleaning around your home and you don't want to be changing nozzles you'll probably find good results with this. I'll test both nozzles actually when I do my demo. Um, I'll test this on hard floors as well. As the dedicated hard floor nozzle, it is a lot lighter. So you've got a brush at the back and then a castellated brush at the front. So you can see there are little grooves in here which help, help apparently, supposedly, pick up bigger debris. So it shouldn't snow plough but it still probably will snow plough. There's no wheels on this, you've just got two sort of felt blocks either side. And of course it's the Miele click fitting system. So that's new, that's the hard floor nozzle. Now we've got the machine itself to come out of the box. I think it's a very slightly different blue to the one I've got. A little bit more vibrant perhaps. Now if this was marketed as a handheld, and you can use it as a handheld, it is heavy for a handheld vacuum. I would say it's more of a stick vacuum. This type of machine hasn't been popular in the UK. It's quite a long flex I seem to believe or remember. Well, it's got a 9 metre operating radius which I think will include the length of the machine so it's possibly about an eight meter uh, yes about an eight meter length cable I would have thought I have to say it feels a little bit cheaper this cable Miele are a good brand I like Miele but the quality is not as good as it used to be it's still very good but obviously Miele cleaners have come down in price and to get that price reduction certain changes I would have thought had to be made. Obviously it's a UK plug. You've got a little clip to secure the cable when it's wrapped up around the machine. So here's the machine itself. So yes you can, you can use it as a handheld. Very awkward for the car I would have thought. So you can put the nozzles directly on you can clean your, you'll be okay for your stairs like this. You can actually even attach the main nozzle. You could attach that and use it like this for your stairs. You could also, if you don't find it comfortable to hold it there, you can actually put the handle into the end and use it like that for your stairs. But it is, for a handheld, it's heavy. So I would agree with that, the reviewers. I would forget about it for car cleaning unless you buy the hose. I have got the optional hose that I bought for my other one. I'm not sure if you can still buy it but I would contact Miele via their website. That's probably the best place. If you have a hose for this it does become a lot more versatile because you can have the machine on the floor while you're using the hose and it would be better for the car as well. Right let's have a look at the rating plate if we can see that. As I say, I think it's 1400 watts. 1300 maximum, 1400. Now, 
I can't actually see made in Germany on this one. It does say Miele and it says where it is. It says Germany but it doesn't actually say made in Germany. There are certain Miele's that are assembled in China I believe from German parts so it doesn't say made in Germany on it. This at the back is where the filter is. The exhaust air vents out either side here but the filter is on the back so it might be a bit stiff. Let me just get it there. Look, Ooh, that is that is difficult. That is ludicrously difficult. Now I know it's brand new. There, it's coming. There we go. Right. So that's the standard filter, the Miele Air Clean. I'm not sure if you get that with the bags. You buy when you buy the bags. Normally, Miele do provide filter or filters but that is the exhaust filter but you can upgrade to the HEPA if you want to and there's the grill there I think you need to take that grill out in order for the HEPA filter to fit in because it is a lot th uh, thicker so that's exhaust filter there we go you've got a bag check indicator here, very similar to the ones that Miele use on their upright and cylinder models. You've got switch, which is a two position switch. Well, it's two position, as in it has a maximum and a minimum setting, but two position as well because you can switch the machine on at this position if you're using it handheld, but if you're using it in upright mode, you can also switch the machine on from the top here. So you're not bending so far, but it just moves. It's the same. It's like a long band. It's all connected up because when you move it, whether, wherever you move it at the top, you see it moves at the bottom as well. And if I was to switch it on at the bottom, you can see it moving at the top. That's where the cable goes into the machine. This is where we'd connect the handle for using it in upright mode. And there's a little button here, which we press to access the quite small dust bag. I think these are KK bags, identified with a yellow collar. And there's also a yellow fitting inside, which helps identify which bag to buy. And this is your pre-motor filter behind the yellow grill. Again, I'm not sure if the bags come with a pre-motor filter as well. They might do, if you buy the genuine Miele bags, of course. So it is a K size bag and these are intensive clean plus bags and they do seal, they are supposed to seal when you remove it from the cleaner to keep the dust in. There is a little flap as well, I'll see if I can show you, yeah, I don't think you'll be able to see, but there is a little rubbery flap which is designed to stop the dirt falling out of the bag when the machine's turned off. Not sure if mine has that, my other one. So that just slides in until it sort of clicks. And there we go. So I think that's everything to show you on the machine. So if you're using it in upright mode, obviously you've got to attach either the hard floor nozzle or the combination floor nozzle onto there. Then we need to pop the handle in to the end until it clicks and just push it in and it will just twist it slightly until you hear the click and then the handle at the top again you just push it in until it clicks. You've got your top hook there and here is your bottom hook that actually rotates to release the cable and all the cable winds around here when you need to store it away just wind all the cable up. But to keep the cable out of the way, instead of it dangling down, there's a little clip at the top here. So you just push the cable into the top, so that keeps the cable high up, so it's not getting in the way. Okay, that's everything. I'll just, just give it a quick go for you. One thing I will show you just before I give it a quick go, and, and to be honest, most of the weight, obviously it's going to, when it's on, you're gonna have the force of the suction. It might be more difficult to push on certain carpets, but 
I'm not, I'm not sure of the problem here because most of the weight, when I'm stood up, it is lower down. You don't feel the weight so much in your hand. So personally, I've never had a problem, but obviously some of the reviewers on the QVC website have had a problem with this cleaner. There's another way you can use this, which I'll briefly show you. You don't have to have the handle, the extension wand in the top end, you can put it here, look. And then you can put the nozzle on the end. Now this is ideal now for cleaning under low furniture because you can get a lot further underneath things than you can, I don't know if we can see that, it's going right under the chair now. But now the weight is more, it is heavier because the weight's higher up, so I am feeling the weight. Of course, we can pop the handle here, and then it is, it is a little bit more comfortable. So that's good for getting under your furniture. And you can use it, say if you were to put the crevice tool on the end, you can use it for getting your cobwebs, but when you're lifting it high, that is when you are feeling the weight. There's no dusting brush supplied, but of course you can buy that dusting brush if you want. Direct for Miele. It will power a turbo nozzle as well, a full-size turbo nozzle. If you have a Miele cylinder, say you've got a Miele cat and dog cylinder with a turbo nozzle and you wanted a supplementary vacuum, you can actually fit the turbo nozzle to this, which will improve the performance of pet air pickup probably make it a bit easier to push as well. So it's a good supplementary cleaner for Miele owners if you want another cleaner for upstairs. So there we go. I'll just give it a quick go, see how noisy it is. And then the full demonstration will follow in a few weeks. Just before I switch it on, I'd just like to point something out. Some of you might ask this if I don't show you. Just underneath there, on the model I've got, when I bought in Budapest, it does have a power takeoff socket so you can fit a Miele power head to it. This one doesn't, it's blanked off. So if you're thinking of using a power head on this machine, unfortunately you can't, it's a shame, because with a power head it does make it really into a compact, lightweight upright. And that's something Miele in their range are lacking, because their current upright range, although very good, are extremely large and heavy. Okay, well switch it on, starting off on low power. There's quite a lot of suction, I can feel, I can see the carpet being lifted. And on low power, it's relatively easy to push, I'm not having any trouble. Now switch it to high. That is a workout. If I want to develop my arm muscles, I will use high. Now I can see, in some cases, a lot of people will find that difficult to push on certain carpets. I think if you've got mainly hard floors and rugs, it will be easier to push on a hard floor, but on its maximum setting, it does, it, it is difficult to push, I have to say. But as I say, if you've got a turbo nozzle, a Miele turbo nozzle, you could fit that to the end and you'll find it a lot, lot easier to push. Of course you can if you don't have the turbo nozzle, you could buy one, but they're, they're around £50, so it does obviously increase the price. Let's just have a quick feel of the suction. It's okay, but compared to a cylinder, it's even on full power, I wouldn't say it's as powerful as a cylinder. I think the performance will still be quite good on a carpet because you've got the weight of the machine. Because the weight is, it, although you know it's, it's, it's low down the weight, but it is actually causing a little bit of pressure on the nozzle. So, in, you know, when you're vacuuming, you're, you're, you want it to be easy. And I've seen people using a cylinder cleaner and they're actually 
you know, scrubbing and scrubbing and putting pressure down on the head. Now you shouldn't obviously need to do that this day and age to get to good performance. But because the weight is above the head, it is adding a little bit of pressure. So perhaps that increases the performance, I don't know. But all in all, on this low pile carpet, on, on this low setting, on minimum, I don't find it difficult to push. But obviously to get the better performance, you'd need to have it on maximum, and that's where it does become a bit harder. Well, that's the end of my unboxing and first look at the Miele H1 Swing Powerline Vacuum Cleaner. Stay tuned for the full demonstration and review that will be following soon. Please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. Please thumb up and of course, please ask me any questions under the video and I'll do my best to answer them. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.